let's do one more example. Here I have the function of r, s, and t, and it's this giant function we see here. And what we're going to be looking for is the derivative of f with respect to r, the derivative of f with respect to s, and the derivative of f with respect to t. So first let's do the derivative di f by di r. So r is the only variable that will be considered changing, and all the other variables, s and t, are going to be treated like constants. So let's do the derivative of r for each one of these terms independently. So for my first term here, I'd be looking at the derivative with respect to r of s e to the power of r. Now e to the power of r is what would be changing, but s would be treated like a constant. So this derivative would become s times the derivative of e to the power of r. Well, the derivative of e to the power of r is simply e to the power of r. Now let's do the derivative of r ln of s. So the derivative with respect to r of r ln of s. So my r variable here is changing. ln of s will be treated like a constant. So this derivative becomes ln of s, which is a coefficient to r, times the derivative of r, which is simply 1. Now let's do the derivative of r plus s times r plus 1. Of r plus s times r plus 1. So for this derivative, I've got a term with r here multiplied by another term with r here. So I am going to have to employ the product rule. For the product rule, let's call this g. Let's call this h. So the derivative is going to be the derivative of g with respect to r times h plus g times the derivative of h with respect to r. Now the derivative of g with respect to r, I'm going to have the derivative of r, which is simply going to be 1, plus the derivative of s, which is going to be 0. So g sub r is really just 1. The derivative of this with respect to r is just 1 times my h, which is r plus 1, plus g, which is r plus s, times the derivative of h with respect to r. So the derivative of r would be 1, plus the derivative of 1, which would simply be 0. So I'm just going to be left with this derivative being 1. Simplifying this, I'm going to have 2r plus s plus 1. Now I've got one more term here, my 5t squared. The derivative of this with respect to r is going to be what? Well, in this term, there are no r's. So this entire term is a constant, and the derivative of any constant is 0. There are no r terms, so it's not changing. So now putting this all together, di f by di r is going to be the derivative of s e to the power of r, which is simply s e to the power of r plus the derivative of r ln of s, which is ln of s, minus the derivative of r plus s times r plus 1, so it's going to be minus 2r plus s plus 1, plus the derivative of 5t squared, which is simply 0. Simplifying this, I have di f by di r is equal to s e to the power of r plus ln of s minus 2r minus s minus 1. And that's my final answer. Now let's do the derivative di f by di s. So this time we're going to be looking at our s terms as the variable that's changing and all the other variables as constants. So the derivative of s e to the power of r with respect to s here, s would be the variable that's changing. e to the r would be considered a constant. So e to the r becomes the coefficient to s times the derivative of s is 1. Now let's look at the derivative of r ln of s with respect to s. Here I have ln of s as the term for which I need to do the derivative. r is going to be treated like a constant or a coefficient. So this is going to be r times the derivative of ln of s, which is 1 over s, or simply r over s. Now let's look at the derivative of r plus s times r plus 1. Here my s term is only in the first term. So the r plus 1 can be treated like a coefficient to this term. r plus 1 here can be treated like a constant. So this is going to become r plus 1 times the derivative 
of r plus s. So this is going to be r plus 1 times the derivative of r plus s. The derivative of r is 0 plus the derivative of s is 1. This leaves me with r plus 1. And finally, I have the derivative of 5t squared with respect to s. Now there are no s terms in here, so 5t squared is treated like a constant. The derivative of a constant is 0, as it's not changing. Putting this all together, I have di f by di s is going to be equal to the derivative of s e to the power of r is simply e to the power of r, plus the derivative of r ln of s is going to be r over s, minus the derivative of r plus s times r plus 1, which is going to be r plus 1, plus the derivative of 5t squared, which is simply 0. Simplifying this, I get e to the power of r plus r over s minus r minus 1. And that's my derivative of f with respect to s. And finally, we're going to do the derivative di f by di t. Doing this derivative, the only term for which I have a t variable is in this last term right here. Thus, each of these other terms are going to be treated like constants. And the derivative of constants are 0. So each of these have a derivative of 0. Now I only have to do the derivative of the last term. Di f by di t is going to be 10t. Now I've completed all three of these partial derivatives, di f by di r, di f by di s, and di f by di t.